Hey, my name's Morgan, and this week's topic is detransitioning. Before I talk about that, though, I would like to mention that this channel is... We have a page in FTM Magazine for this it, this issue. I think there's only four a year, but we're in, we're in the one that just came out yesterday, so isn't that great? Uh, so you could go buy that. I'll link the uh, website for the magazine in the description. Uh, on to the topic, detransitioning. Have you considered it? And to be honest, before I started tea, I, I did. I was like, alright, so if I do start tea, what happens if I don't want to be male anymore, I guess? what if, I was just like, what if that's not what I, like, I go down this path and then I find out later that, oh crap, I really messed something up. And I, you know, I was worried about that for a while. I don't think that I ever will do that because I honestly cannot see myself as female. Like, even in past photographs, it's just so strange to see myself and see someone who is so feminine and then to look in the mirror and look like this. I cannot equate this face and my physique with that of someone who is feminine or female in appearance. I can't do that. And maybe something would change in the future, but I honestly cannot see that being something that would p pertain to me. And the second part of the topic is, what do you think about those who have? And um, I honestly, I think it's just people who were convinced that it was something they were supposed to do, like transitioning was something they were supposed to do, and they found out later on that it wasn't quite right, and I don't think that anything bad about those people, it's just they're staying true to themselves and not saying, well, I transitioned, now crap, I'm stuck this way, it's not, if you, we don't just say, well, crap, we're stuck in our birth sex, we don't say that, we go and we do it, and so if we go and we do it, and then we're like, crap, now I'm, I can't be still stuck in not my birth sex, I can't be stuck, right? I got to here, I can obviously go forward again, I guess, if you say that. But that's obviously not after surgeries and stuff, I don't think. I mean, maybe? If someone had top surgery, they could, like, probably just stuff a bra, is what I'm thinking. I didn't really look into this much. I have not really looked into this much because it's not something I cons I would, would ever consider doing. Why? Well, not presently consider doing. So it doesn't really pertain to me, so I don't really need the information. So it's not something I'm looking into, but it's honestly, in my opinion, it's just people who were convinced that this was the way to go, and then found out later down the line, maybe that wasn't quite what I was supposed to be doing. But it's fine. It really is. It's honestly fine to explore and to think one thing so strongly that you have to change your life. And it's fine. People are allowed to change their minds. I didn't always identify the way I do now. I mean, when I was little, I was like, I'm a girl. And that's just what society tells me I am, so I have to stay that way. So obviously if you socially transition and whatever, you don't have to stay that way. I just repeated myself a lot. Alright, sorry, I hope that made sense. I'll see you next week. Bye.